Hi, this is Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. In my previous video, I made these three little journals. They were made from a cereal box. All the pages were made from the cereal box. And all I did was to decorate them with some scrap papers or some of my Make Your Mark papers. People often ask me what I do with these journals and say that they would like to see how I decorate the pages. Truth is, with some journals, I don't go back to them. I just leave them as is. But I do want to do something with these little journals. So I might do, you know, a few little videos from time to time just showing me doing some pages. So you'd see there that all I've done is I'm selecting one journal. I've picked out three paints. Uh, and I'm just going to more or less stick to those. I do introduce uh, an ink tense pencil later. But basically, all I'm going to do is to use some more scraps, some paints, including gesso. I just use gesso rather than a white paint, and an ordinary pencil, an ink tense pencil, just to put some marks, etc., onto these pages. I'm not looking to create anything fancy, and I think this is just going to become about experimenting and just creating some fun pages. Now, I do end up doing a kind of double page spread here. You'll see the benefit of having these on the rings is that I can open take them out and lay them completely flat. Now you'll see when I put some papers down it goes over the holes and all I do is re-punch the holes later. So just starting with some white gesso just to kind of tone them down a little bit, that one on the left in particular, and to start to bring them together because they will look like one piece using a palette knife just to get different texture onto the page not with anything in mind at all for how these are going to turn out. But you will also see, if you stay tuned, that I do actually end up putting some found words on the pages. For me, found words, it's... I, I, I don't know. Uh, it, found words is just a, it's a great expression. And the words that jumped out at me just seem to fit so well with these pages and so well with the direction that I see this little book, this little journal taking. So there's really not much more to say about the process. So I am just going to leave you for a few minutes while I work on these. And, you know, I just hope you will kind of sit back, enjoy the process and enjoy the music. So I will come in I want to tell you about a project that a friend has done that I think is absolutely fabulous. So I'll come back in in a few minutes and just spend, you know, a minute telling you about that. So back soon.
So before I continue with my project, I just wanted to quickly jump on and tell you about this project by my friend Diana from the YouTube channel Serenity Studio Art. I've known Diana really since I started YouTube. So she took a sardine can and made it into this Frida Kahlo shadow box and I think it's it's a superb project so I wanted to let you know about that. I do like giving people shout outs so I'll leave a link to her video below. So meantime I'll go back to my project. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
So just about it then now and I do hope you've enjoyed seeing my process for creating these couple of abstract pages really just about using some scraps, making marks and just having a bit of play in these little journals and they're of a size that just because they're small doesn't make it any easier and it doesn't make it any quicker but I like working sometimes on a big scale and sometimes on a small scale. So I will leave the links to the video in which I made these uh, little journals and also to my mark making series where I made a number of the papers uh, that I use today. So I do hope you've enjoyed it and uh, yeah I hope to make some more videos working these journals. So thanks ever so much for watching. Do take care. Bye for now.